Hey man, I don't want you to get a big head or anything, because watching film is the one thing in the world that I love doing. But I think I've watched every single snap of yours from college. I don't think I've seen a more well-rounded player at your position. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate that. I mean that. But here's what I want to know. Where does that come from? Because it's more than just God-given talent. <laughs> Definitely, man. Look, this is my whole life. I want to be the greatest. And to do that, I have to outwork everyone at everything. In the film room, in the practice field, in the gym on game day. Everywhere. I must watch a lot of film, man. I'm watching every highlight reel of every Hall of Fame player I can find. It's good, you know, smart, you know, from the best. Exactly. And I'm not going to be content until it's unanimous that I am the best. I understand this is going to be a process. I'll be walking into a world where I'll be expected to be a leader pretty early on. So my number one priority is to lead by example from day one. Work hard, be a great teammate, and become the best possible player that I can be. Well, it has happened now. It has officially gone through, Stuart. A big opportunity! And a goal! Here in Spain, it's known simply as El Derby. The two Madrid rivals, Real and Atletico, about to go head to head. And it's anyone's guess who will prevail. It is a derby rivalry here in Madrid that goes all the way back to 1906. Atletico against Real. Can't wait for this one. I'm Derek Ray, and alongside me, ready to provide expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. This ought to be special, Stuart. Well, this is a Jude Bellingham. Room to roam for the Merengues here. And it's played into the centre. Well, it still could be dangerous. Griezmann. Valverde. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Perhaps an opportunity here for Real Madrid to take the lead. Corner. And in by Luka Modric. And the problem not completely solved. Modric. And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. Rabio. And Atletico will get the throw in. Disappointing for the players of the centre that it didn't reach them. Oh, the threat is there. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. Atletico have the corner. Let's see about the delivery. In it goes! Atleti strike first in the derby. Just look at the celebrations. Stunning! Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. But the finish is far too easy. He doesn't even have to jump. How has he afforded that much space? It's a tidy header, but really poor defending. So underway again here, 1-0 the score. Al. Vicente. Atletico being afforded too much room. He takes aim and keeping it out. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. 
We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. So the ball rolling again, second half underway. Will Real be able to complete his move to West Ham, Stewart? Well, at around £45 million, pounds, I think... Oh, opportunity here, Stewart! And a goal it is! They lead by two now! Fully deserved! Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Two nil here, and the ball is moving again. And Bellingham. Fine tackle there to prevent... Oh, he's given it. The referee says penalty. And an opportunity for them to pull one back here. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. This to pull one back. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. And over comes the corner. And he's done well to tip it over the bar. It is an Atletico substitution. Unal with it. And showing fine vision. Fine cross into the middle. And there it is! That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. And Atletico Madrid move forward. Well, it was all a bit of a canter, to be honest. They dominated pretty much from the start, and it left the result in little doubt. They'll be full of confidence going into the next round. Cause you're gonna get burned, they say. You should never roll, roll all the dice without a hand was has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent so what should we expect to see from him in this game Stuart? Well he's certainly on fire at the moment he looks fit he looks sharp and he's full of confidence he's just been too hot to handle and I fully expect him to score again today and eventually break that record and welcome to the Rosas section of the Spanish capital we're here at the Metropolitano I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner as always is Stuart Robson and we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Atletico Madrid facing, making a bit of headway. And a good-looking ball. Oh, yes! As pure a header as you're likely to see. And he ought to be very proud of that one. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. nil then you can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it booking to come you would think 
Well, there we have it. The first yellow card of the game. And he's going to have to be careful now. There's a long time to go here. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. And that's it, a goal for Atletico. Beyond the goalkeeper, Atletico on terms. Again, and I have to say, the defending is so poor. They make so many bad decisions there. No wonder the keeper's exposed. So back up. Stopped a certain goal. This might be Lewandowski. And angling it back. Good patient build up as they try to fashion something. And what a magical save it was! <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Still not clear. Terrific block there. Torres. And so near on the volley. Well, he'd be frustrated with that finish. That was a big opportunity there. Game. Alex Scott has all the information for us. It's a goal for Real Madrid. They're the first on the score sheet here with 31 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. And the danger still off. That's a good pass. Oh, magnificent save! Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. What reaction from the goalkeeper that was. Delivering it. Vicente. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. It's there for him. And that's a very good parry. The first half here comes to an end. The beginning of the second half here at the home of Atletico in Madrid. Good ball over the top. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more eager action for you to look forward to. It's Barcelona against Villarreal. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to enjoy it. Happy to take on the shot. Great defending here. Well, nothing comes of it. Koke. Oh, great attacking play. Is this the moment? And in. Oh, yes. Yeah. Exactly what they were hoping to produce. Indeed. They've delivered the goal. JPB. It's only right, baby. Yeah. Why you mad? Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender, creates space for himself. But there's still plenty to do from here. It's so well done. Lots of fights, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Everything you want to do, I already done it. Back underway, and that should really shake up Barca. Well, a really good run. Marino. Long way out. Well, the goal can... And there's not long left now. Oh, look at this. They must score. What late excitement. And the match is level. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal.
And it's level again. Is the end of the story, and it is a story of parity here. A draw in the end. I wonder what you thought of the Colchoneros and their performance. Yes, the disappointment is clear to see. Obviously, with 10 minutes to go, they must have been feeling confident that they could see it out. But that's football, Derek. That's what we love about it. That special and unbeatable feeling of match day is in the air. And the knowledge that this has all the makings of a vibrant and compelling encounter. Anticipation levels are sky high. And every expectation that this game will live up to its considerable billing. And welcome on a rainy night. The heavens opened earlier and it just hasn't relented. I'm Derek Ray in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And we're looking forward to bringing you live Champions League action, the first leg of this round of 16 tie. It is Feyenoord against Atletico Madrid. Well, Derek, on paper, there should only be one outcome, an athletic victory. But if they don't play well and are sloppy at the back, they might just come unstuck here. Vicente. Oh, good-looking run. Takes it on. Keeper did his job to begin with. It was an attack of promise, but they couldn't take advantage of the situation. And a good challenge to bring that attack to... Thomas van den Belt. He's in behind. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. Will this corner bear fruit for them? Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Trying to pick out a teammate. In it goes! The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, he has to come up with a game plan. His side are struggling now. And back underway. 1-0 it is. A danger here as he runs at them. He must finish! Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Hermoso. Now, Rabio. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. The first half here comes to an end. Underway in the second half, and Atletico trailing. Let's see if they can turn this round. And veering in. Fairly comfortable in bringing that ball down. Rabio. And he keeps going. Cuts in from the flank. I'll tell you what, it wasn't a million miles away. Well, plenty of scope for them to attack. And crossed in the direction of the back post. And a goal! It's a finish of real class! No shortage of acrobatics on display here. He's judged it to perfection. Incredible header. Well, that's not a happy manager. Simeone knows he's got a lot of work to do now. So the ball rolling again, 2-0 the score. Mikel Marino, and in the right position. Chance here, 
And what a magical save it was! So a personnel change then. Atletico's corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? My goodness, that save fully stretched him. And that is that. The referee blows the full-time whistle. And a night for the home fans to enjoy, certainly. They won't be getting totally carried away. But the home side with the advantage going into the return leg. Well, they're not through just yet, but that was a convincing performance today. They were inventive, they controlled the midfield, and they've looked sharp in attack. They're unlucky not to win this by more.